Ahoy hoy, it's your boy Attack Slug, and welcome back to another episode of The Cold Boot, where I look at new games and or DLC, and today, we are looking at Secret Ponchos from the developer Switchblade Monkeys, which feels like it could be a Simpsons reference? I don't know. Anyway, this is a PS Plus game for December of 2014, meaning that right now if you have a PS4, it is free, and hence I am taking a look at it because it just came out today. So we're going to hit a button to start here of this game. Uh, my understanding is that this is a twin-stick shooter. Welcome to Secret Ponchos. Um, must first create... Is this game online only? That's... I did not know that. Um, obviously Phantom Poncho here. Dude's a fucking skeleton and he's got a whip. Uh, that sounds like a good, good thing to me. Um, I am not going to click online store because I'm not spending any money. I got two upgrade points. So, uh, as with any game where I have upgrade points, I'm going to put them into health first and foremost. Because that seems important. Um, he's got something besides the whip here uh, that I can't get yet because it's locked. So, enter a name for my outlaw. Attack. Uh, space. Slug. Well, that's me. They call me a tax slug. So, I guess, for some reason, I thought this was a single-player game with a multiplayer element. Let me actually unplug my camera, because people could hear me. So, fuck that. The last thing you want when making a video on YouTube is to have your microphone on for, from the uh, PS4 camera, and then be talking to you, watching the video, and them having to hear it. So, if nobody's online, this is gonna not be a good video, because then we're not gonna get any gameplay. I did not under did not, um... I did not anticipate this game was an online-only game. Uh, that is certainly going to limit its appeal uh, when it comes to, you know, just having any kind of a lasting impact if it's only an online game. Um, but that's what it appear appears to be. So, this video might have a big jump cut while I wait for other players to actually fill into the game. Okay, here we go. We have people in the game. Uh, we went. I had actually I had to actually search for a game to, to find one, which obviously uh, should have been clear. Uh, but I was not paying the most attention as I'm trying to talk to you at the same time as playing this game. Lots of people chose the fucking dude that I'm playing. There's a, lot, there's a lot of us, so hopefully we'll have different cape colors or I don't know something. So I guess we're gonna play a round or two of Secret Ponchos. Uh, this is a dual stick shooter. I don't know what the controls are. All right, so squares camera. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Um, out of ammo, and I'm dead. That's interesting. Respawns pretty quick. Uh, what is my whip button here? I don't know. Alright, was that a change weapon button? I don't know what I'm doing. This is fantastic. So, no real tutorial, no real anything, which is kind of a weird way to just drop you into the game. Uh, Alright, so I do have reload if I hit square. Um, putting those points into health really didn't do me a whole lot of good, now did it? Um, let's try to get a bearings on, on what our fucking controls are here. Uh, so circle is to do a dash. Um, aim with the right stick slows you down when you're aiming. Uh, you can also dash with L1. So you have a, a limited amount of dashing because I can't dash anymore. Um, yeah, that has, that has to recharge, so use your dashes sparingly. 
because once you run out, you run out, and then you gotta wait for it to recharge. Fuck that guy. I'm running away. Uh, reload is square. I killed a guy. Always good. Oh, Jesus. I killed another guy. Um, I'm not gonna die here because, you know. So, what was the button to change my weapon? Is what I want to know now. Um, I'm not clicking the stick. That's dash. Alright, so triangle changes uh, your weapon. And there are five characters. They have different weapons. So the strategy here is uh, you want to whip them and then... And shoot them. I will say this is not what I expected at all. I'm not saying it's bad, just not what I expected. Like, twin stick shooter, sure. You know, spaghetti western, sure. Those things sound alright. But, online only experience? Uh, that's might not have the legs that the developers had intended it to have. Kill that guy. I think having to slow down when you aim is an interesting dynamic. Uh, reloading that doesn't doesn't automatically reload is not the best thing personally. Uh, that's kind of obnoxious. But I can see how you would go for certainly a better strategy that way. Uh, hey guy, I killed you. Get the fuck out of here. That health's not gonna help me because, you know. End of the round? Sixth place. Out of how many? Six out of eight? Nah, uh, five kills, six deaths. My accuracy, about half. That's interesting. So, let's try a different character. Uh, see if we can get into. Oh, boss, we have whatever that means. I'm sure there's some kind of an upgrade. System. That's actually online store. I don't. I don't want that. I'm sure they'll sell me something that I don't really care about because you know I got this thing for free. So, but it's, it's not up yet, which is usually how it works when PS Plus updates. Um, so reputation. All right. Let's customize. So at some point, I would imagine you get more upgrade points. Uh, I see perks and skins. At some point, you get more skins, or you can buy more skins because you know, video games in 2014. Um, so there's my KD ratio, or all you know your usual online shooter stats. So we're gonna create new here, um, and we're gonna use Kid Red because he looks like he could be fast. Uh, we're gonna go with a faster guy here. Let's choose Kid Red here. Uh, let's give him even more speed. And obviously we have another item you don't have yet because you can probably buy it. And fuck that. So, his name's Kid Red. We're gonna call him Kid Dead. Because I'm probably gonna die a lot. So, now we're Kid Dead. And we're gonna search for a match. And if there's another jump cut here, it's because the match took too long to search for. And I'm going to have a sip of my drink uh, while I'm waiting. Alright, that didn't take long at all. So, it was just a matter of having to search uh, for a match. This match is not full of people playing uh, the, the skeleton. And I think someone else is talking. Or other people are talking. So, that's whatever. Not big on online voice chat myself personally, but, you know, I can see the appeal. Uh, I wonder how many maps this game has. Hmm. Like, I appreciate the aesthetic. You know, I appreciate what they're going for on, on a number of levels. 
but at the same time, online-only focused multiplayer shooters, not particularly my... I have dynamite. <laughs> not particularly my cup of tea, to be honest. Get back over there. Wounded. She has a fucking sword. I need to not be here. You need to get the fuck away from me. Oh! And I'm dead. Living up to the name, Kid Dead. So I guess we'll play through the rest of this match, uh, and then that'll be the end of this cold boot video. Uh, and that'll be a good time. The reload stuff I particularly don't like. I will say that off the bat, not a fan of having to manually, like, just let me reload, when I hit the button to shoot, just fucking reload it. Like, don't make me hit square, unless I'm missing something, don't make me hit square, because that's not fun for anybody. Why were you laying on the ground? Were you trying to... Fuck you. Gotcha. Oh, jeez. I got you and she got me. Alright then. I think the movement speed is alright. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, it's kind of pretty much bog standard stuff for a twin stick shooter. I'm assuming at some point you get more... Um, you can upgrade the range of your guns, because the range seems real real short, but I understand why you would do that from a design perspective. Like, I get that. Sort of. What the fuck happened there? Why do you keep knocking me down? Get back here. Yeah. Kid dead got you. You got dead. You better dodge that. I'm almost dead. Ooh, what's that? Collectible, infinite stamina. Not gonna matter. My guns are not good. Oh wait, I can do single gun, double gun? Was that what that was? I don't know. Whatever, have some fucking... Have some of that. And I'm dead. Well, that worked out about as well as to be expected. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 kind of curious as to how the they would handle the progression system in the game, uh, but not long enough to actually want to keep playing it. Now that I know there's no and they're like ha not having any kind of a single player component is kind of a harsh in my buzz. Uh, to be perfectly honest, as someone who primarily plays single player games. Stole your kill. Have some of that. Oh, that's gonna, that's gonna go poorly for me. Oh, that's also gonna go poorly for me. Killing spree. I am in seventh place. I am not very good at online multiplayer shooters, as has been proven time and time and time again. Um, so, that's gonna do it. Uh, you've kind of seen what this game is. It's interesting. I'm not gonna say that I enjoyed it, but I can see what they're going for. It's just, to me, not something I would come back to in any capacity. So, thankfully, this was free as part of the December 2014 PS Plus stuff on the PS4. So, if you have the PS4, and you have PS Plus, which I would highly recommend, uh, this game is free for the month of December, so maybe it will appeal to you, maybe you think that looks amazing and you're really into online multiplayer shooters, even of the twin stick variety, so have at it, have fun. Uh, this has been The Cold Boot, this has been Secret Ponchos uh, for the PS4, and I am a tax slug. 
and I will see you next time right here on this channel, and I'm out!